Good morning, it's Penny from the Silver and Fit program. If you have been joining me all week, welcome back. If you are brand new, we are so excited to have you here with us. The Silver and Fit program is dedicated to keeping you moving through this pandemic. We will be on Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. for a variety of 30-minute classes. Remember, this variety is so important for your overall fitness levels. We need to do all of the components of fitness. So cardio, muscular strength and endurance, working on balance, speed, flexibility. So we're giving you a little bit of everything. Today, Thursday, we are going to be working on flexibility and balance. It may be a little different than you're thinking. As we move through life, dynamic balance is super important. And that means changing speeds and having all your stabilizing muscles working to contract to support your back and so that you can maintain steady in a variety of motions. So today, have fun with it. You may want a chair for balance. You don't have to use it. I also have a mat out here and that's just to make my surface a little bit better. <laughs> you can have any surface that is nice and safe where you're not gonna slip uh, where you feel comfortable. So with that, grab a drink of water. We are going to get going. Drink water at any time. Okay, let me get my trusty timer started for our 30 minutes. It goes by fast when you are having fun. Let's start, feet apart, just shift your hips. So we're a little wider this time, shifting the hips, feeling that balance component. Weight shifting is such an important tool to practice. Now as you're shifting, maybe lift. Can you lift the foot a little bit? Picking it up. Again, we're a little wider. You always have that chair right there. Countertop or wall for balance. Feet down, shift it, shift. Let's make the arms a little bigger. Stretch. Always reaching up to where it's comfortable for your shoulders. If you've got the range, take it. Hands down. Let's try. Maybe lifting that foot up. Feeling that kind of a tick-tock almost. We're shifting the weight, finding just a second of balance. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in, march it right. So during this warm up and throughout the entire workout, <laughs> you're working on range of motion of the joints. Everything is core work. All our movement comes from that midsection along with that dynamic balance. Keep marching. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can get a better view. Watch first and then join. The right foot is gonna tap forward and back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Opposition arm. Really feeling your left foot ground. Anybody feel that balance component? You may also find that your heart rate comes up. Heart health is happening. We're moving that whole body. Let's try four more. Anything you want with those arms. Two more. Nice. Hold it in. March it out wide. Plant the feet. Wide shifts, side to side. So we're lifting the heel. Maybe shaking those hips. Now let's add the arms front, squeeze back. Now our arms are going in a different direction. Our body's going side to side. And our arms are reaching forward and back. If this feels more challenging, it should. Nice. Are you opening up your chest? 
squeezing those elbows back and behind. Back to natural arms. Now this time we're going to try to tap the toe behind. Tap. Maybe lift the foot behind the body. Again, that balance. You're like a statue for just a second. Four more. Shift it out. Woo. Let's add in those arms. Reach, pull. Expanding that chest. Increasing mobility through that chest area. We always want to scan. Upright, tall, proud, and confident. Four more. Now take it back to the tap behind a little. Maybe we stay right here. Anything you want with those arms. Maybe it's a heel lift. Pause. Pause. Nice and wide. You've got that support if you need it. You feel steady and confident. You're fine without that support. Four. Do you feel like a statue for a second? Bring it in. March it left. Left. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see this again. We're going to tap front and back. Front, back. Front, back. Your right foot is grounded. Light tap with your toes. Have fun with those arms. Four more. How lightly can you tap that left toe? March it out. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Shoulder rolls up and back. Release down. Shake it out. Feet shoulder width. Bend down. Run. We're not going anywhere though. Lifting those heels. Waking up the lower part of your leg. Lift. Again, you can be by that balance. Let's go fast. Now hold. Fast. Ah! And hold. Fast. Fast. Hold. I got it. <laughs> fast. Fast. Hold. Working the front of that lower leg. Nice. Feeling all those muscles in that shin area. Anyone doing this while they're watching TV yet? Four more. Last two. Shake it out. Take a big breath in. Exhale, roll those shoulders up and back. Left toe goes forward. We're gonna take it in and out, lifting it up. Lift, whatever you'd like with those arms. Again, warming up 
the front of the lower leg, also getting mobility there. Nice. Are you smiling? This exercise, it should be good. Tell yourself, awesome job. Getting started is the hardest part sometimes. Relax, shake it out. One more deep breath, all the way into that belly. Big breath in, exhale, shoulder roll. Grab a drink of water, keep it moving. Head above the heart. We're gonna start with the right foot, step together. Lateral motion. Nice. Join me when you're ready. Easy arms. Reach, pull. Now these are a little bit faster. We're going to be playing with our speed. Toes, knees, and hips are directly ahead. Take a second to glance down. Four more, and then we're gonna slow this down. Slow it down. Step in. You can squat down a bit, really feel your foot bringing you in. Chest stays up. Utilizing those legs, leg strength, very important for fall prevention. Only going down to where it feels good for your knees. Get ready. Step together fast. Four, three. Take it slow. You know we're gonna do some brain fitness, right? Cut it down a little more. Step together fast. Take it slow. Step together fast. Take it slow. Two more times like this, fast. Take it slow. Uh-oh, we're gonna go for some real brain fitness, fast. Slow. Are you ready? Two fast, one slow right here. Slow. Fast. Slow. Fast, slow, fast, slow, four more. How are you doing without me cueing you? Two more, brain fitness, all good. One more. Easy march right. Again, you may have felt that heart rate come up. Changing speeds, we do that a lot in life. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with this march. Make it big and slow, big. Now you may wanna just, your big maybe right here, or up a little higher. We're gonna play with this. Make sure that spine is tall, fast, slow. Fast. Slow. Cutting it down. Fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. One more time. Fast. Slow. March it out. Woo! <laughs> now I'm going to face the other direction. So that you can see my movement, you can continue facing me. We're gonna walk it forward and back. One, two, three, tap. Also known as the hustle. You could be in place, just one, two, three, tap. Let's do four more before we add on. Nice. Now we're gonna take it side, side. 
changing up that motion. One, two, three, tap. Tap. Maybe push those bars. Again, mixing up those planes of movement. Four more. Walk, 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 side tap. Nice. Now have fun with this one. My dancers, go for it. Now easy march, right? Easy. Pick a spot in front of you. You have a tight rope, like the circus. It's pretend, no worries. We're gonna go heel toe walk, heel toe. Take your time. Now pause, go backwards, toe heel. Really firm up that belly, pause, tandem step, squeeze everything in, forward. Any pace is okay. Hold it. Backwards. And hold. March it out. Left. We're gonna repeat that whole series again. Remember the second time? We can be a little stronger since we've learned it. The first time, you mess up, you tell yourself, good job. I mess up, we all mess up. Some say, if you don't mess up, and I don't even like this word, but if you don't fail, you're not trying hard enough. That means we're staying a little too much in our comfort zone. You gotta get out, try new things, increases our perspective, and makes us stronger. Marching it out. Single side steps. Leading with the left. So remember right here, we're changing speed, developing that lower body strength. So good for fall prevention and just life. Couple more singles. Slow it down, step squat, step squat. Chest up, belly in at the very bottom. Strong legs. Take it up to speed. Slow it down. Up to speed. Slow it down. Up to speed. Slow it down. One more time up to speed, then we're gonna cut it down more. Slow it down. Uh-oh, two fast, one slow brain fitness. Slow, fast, slow. Nice, how strong are you? So strong. That's what I want you saying to yourself. We need to be our own cheerleaders. Again, march it out. Whew. Okay, we're gonna be on that left foot. I'm gonna turn this way, you can stay towards me. Catch your breath. If you lost it a little bit, that one can definitely get the heart rate up, burn those calories. Remember the talk test, you should always be able to talk. If you're not, that's an indicator you wanna take down that intensity a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take that trip forward and back. Maybe staying in place, holding that chair. One, two, three, tap, hustle. One, two, three, tap. Have fun with those arms here. How light are you when you're walking? Using all those muscles to lightly step. You can stay right here, I'm gonna add that side push out to the side. Multiple directions. Moving forward, backward, out to the side.
four more. Two more. March it out. March. Now stay right here. We're gonna do our little marches and our big marches. Small and fast. Lift the knees slow. Small and fast. Lift it slow. March. Slow. March. Slow. Ready to cut it down? Fast. Too slow. Fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. One more, you got it. Easy march. Okay, we're back to the circus. Straight line. Nice and tall, belly in as much as you can. We want to look down to be aware of our environment, but keep the chest lifted. Think of a long spine versus slumping forward to check it out. Heel toe. Walk it forward. Take your time on that tightrope. Hold it. Tighten your belly. Breathe. Backwards. Woo, that's sometimes a little more difficult. Get a little wobbly. Embrace it. Pull. Heel toe tandem step. One more time. Walk that tightrope. You have a walking stick, a broom. You could use that as balance as well. Pull. Backward. Hold it. And shake it out. Excellent job. Oh my goodness, we're doing so good. We've got one more round and then we're gonna take it down to some dynamic opening for the body to increase our mobility. Time flies when you're having fun. Please grab another drink of water. You all know I'm in Arizona. It's warm out here. And even if it's not, drink up. We need water regardless of what temperature it is. If you're in a cold area, please enjoy our sunshine. I know we got it pretty good right now. However, in the summer when it hits triple digits, I would rather be where you are if you're in a cooler place. <laughs> okay, one more round. Easy march right. We're gonna play with that forward and back tap right here. Forward, back. You remember this from the warm up? I'm tapping my toe. Forward, back, light. You can stay here, yes? Yeah? Tap, tap. Now watch. Knee, tap. Oh, really grounding your left leg. Can you feel your belly as you drive that knee up? Maybe it's right here, right? Four, three, two. Shake it out. Shake. What we do on the right, we do on the left. March it left. I'm turning for you. Tap it out. Front, back. Rounding your right foot. Feel the heel, pinky toe, and big toe evenly pressing down. When you're ready, lift. Woo, there's my balance. <laughs> See, I caught it. Yeah, we got it. Get a little off balance to strengthen it. We just want to make sure that we are confident that we're not too wobbly. That's when we definitely want to be using a little assistance. Pull the belly to the spine. Four more. Remember, it could be a much smaller range of motion. And shake it out. 
We're gonna do that one more time a little differently. March it, right. Oh, it feels good to march it out. It's a lot of leg, muscular endurance, and some strength in that one too. So these exercises, although we have a focus for the day, really you're getting so many different components of physical activity. Tap it forward and back, tap. Watch this one first. We're gonna go tap, lift. Squeezing the glute. Tap, squeeze. Little tilt forward, always keeping that long spine. Four more. Shake it out. Woo! One more side. March it left. I'm turning for you. Side view, I think it's good for this one. Really important, pull that belly in. You feel the low back. When you extend that leg behind you, it's your indicator that you should go smaller or pull that belly towards the spine a little more. Let's tap it. Forward, back. Really get balanced here first. When you're ready. Make it small. You don't have to lift too high. Some of you may be able to. Hinge forward a little more. Right foot is grounded, that's the key. You feel yourself shifting side to side or forward and back, evenly ground your foot. And then move up, brace that belly. Two more. Relax, easy shift. Now let's bring everything down. Easy shift. Four more. Let's think about our flexibility and mobility a little. If you would like your balancing, hold on to it. Let's lift that right foot up. Circle out your ankle. Maybe we're practicing one foot balance right here. Opposite direction. I've got a tricky one, point and flex. Dual tasking. With your foot, spell your last name backwards. Once you're done, release. That was a tough one for me. Dual tasking associated with fall prevention. Now we've got that balance aid if we'd like it. Left foot stabilizes. We're just gonna draw some circles back and to the front. Mobility of that hip. I have one more option for you. You can lift and lift. Pick what's right for your hip. Hold it front, toe up, take that bow. Pull the toe in, feeling the back of the lower leg, your calf, and the back of the upper leg, your hamstrings. Remember, chest is up, chin is tucked in. You're looking about three feet beyond your big toe. Oh, that should feel so good. Hold it there, breathe. Nice, deep breath. Thinking about all you've accomplished in just 30 minutes. Doesn't take a lot, a little adds up to big results. Come on up. Take that same leg back on the toe, open up your hip. So remember, it's that slight push forward of the right hip, squeezing the right glute, Feeling it where you put your hand in the pocket. Now reach up if that feels good. Turn your palm towards me. And we're just gonna open the body a little bit. Keep breathing. And 
gently release down. Shake everything out. I'm just gonna take my chair to the opposite side. And I wanna put it in the pool. Okay. <laughs> that would make for um, a quite an interesting ending to class though, correct? If I put my chair in my pool. Nice and tall. Around the inside leg. Let's take that left leg, lift it up. Find balance, circle out the ankle. Nice, slow circle. I was teaching water aerobics one time and I walked into the pool. Other direction. I wasn't hurt at all. Just really, really surprised. Point and flex. Now this time, let's spell your first name backwards. Shake it out, hold it in, starting with circles. Always to where it feels good for your hip. Now you're wanting me to jump in my pool, right? With my clothes on. It's warm here, it does take a while for our pools to heat up though. Now open up your hip, up and open. I cannot wait though until I can get in. I love aquatic exercise. It's really nice. When you're in the water, you're bearing such a low amount of your body weight. So it's a good complement to weight bearing exercise like we're doing, which will help increase your bone density. So we want a little bit of both. Relax, shake it out. Let's take that left leg forward, toe up. Take that bow, pull the toe in, feeling the calf and the hamstring open. Chin is tucked in, we're having nice, fluid breath. Our breath can be very calming. Good to focus in on it, just because maybe thinking inhale, exhale, helps calm our brain. Hinge up. Let's take that leg back. We're on the toe. Hip comes towards me. Squeeze your glute. So left hip forward, left glute tight. Maybe we reach up, turn the palm forward and open just slightly through that chest region. Come center, release down. Bend your knees, open that chest. Release down, circle up and back with the shoulders. Give yourself that massage. Circle out the wrist, opposite direction. Open and close. Palms down, ear to shoulder. Oh yes, feels so good. Chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Just to the front, a few more, just nice slow roll. When you're even, head comes up. Let's take our final two breaths into that belly. Tell yourself, awesome job. Inhale up. Exhale. Big breath in. Exhale. You did it. Awesome job. Get ready. Tomorrow, Friday, I'm going to wear fun pants. I would love for you to wear your fun pants. If you are inclined, take a picture of your fun pants and post them in the comments. It'll be fun. We want to build a community here and be each other's support as we are staying in the house. I kind of feel like as we are stuck in the house, <laughs> it can be um, a good thing. So be friendly in the comments, talk to each other, make new friends. I'm definitely one of your new friends. And tomorrow, our Friday mixer, get ready for your favorite moves. Drink some water. <laughs>